Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading. So let's see. Also, the roles can be reversed. So do keep that in mind. And let's see, what is going on with Aquarius for the first half of June? All right, we have signs and shadow work. Okay, so somebody is definitely figuring out their shadow side, facing their fears, facing their ego possibly, or just anything else that might be a barrier. And I feel like they're actually... Um, kind of doing this even without even maybe realizing it because they're they're getting signs all right which means that the universe is actually pointing in that direction for this shadow work to be done and so oftentimes when this happens you know we get triggered we get um, we, we, we encounter certain situations that are just very difficult to avoid in order for us to kind of <laughs> face this shadow side to ourselves. So it could be for you, it could be for another person here. Let's see. Okay, Aquarius. For a love connection, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So for the situation, we have the Page of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so somebody here is trying to get themselves independent um, from something else. I feel like somebody is still learning from a situation that they're still not as independent as they want to be or as they um, should be in order to be grounded and really um, in their power here. Could be you, could be them. Recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune and for the near future, we have the Five of Wands. So there was a shift um, recently. There was a shift. I um, don't know what that could actually be. We might clarify that. We'll see. We'll see what we clarify. But I do also see some conflict coming up or possibly having to go against other people in order to achieve somebody's goals. But whatever whatever the situation here is and whoever this is, I do feel like they're moving forward. I do feel like there is something that that is being learned, all right? Especially when it comes to being independent from something else. So for you, we have the Seven of Cups. For them, we have the Two of Cups. More for you is the Six of Swords, for them is the King of Swords. And the potential outcome here is the King of Pentacles. And a message for you is the Two of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. So, I think it was Gemini who got the Seven of Cups here. And then Libra had the Six of Swords as well. So yeah, air signs all tend to have similar themes sometimes, um, just like every element does. But yeah, definitely let me know what, what sign you're dealing with. And yeah, if you have other air signs that are strong in your chart other than Aquarius. So for you, I feel like, yeah, there's a little bit of confusion here or you're trying to figure something out or you might even be confused when it comes to wanting to move away from this connection and whether you have, whether you haven't or how should you go about it. We'll see. For them, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here and not only that, I feel like this person um, is also very, this is coming through as headstrong. I mean, not necessarily in a negative way, but just very, very determined, whereas sometimes, even though there's a lot of love, maybe this person tends to overthink things or maybe tends to use logic 
more than their more than their heart, more than their emotions. There is stability though in the potential outcome here, so we'll see, we'll see. But there's, it still feels like there's a little bit of a back and forth here or with that Two of Pentacles, or that it might just be too much for you to handle at the moment. Let's clarify, let me clarify the Page of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. It also feels like we have quite a few pentacles, so maybe there might also be an earth sign here. So we have the eight of pentacles, the seven of cups again, and the lovers. Whew. All right, so it, this might even be that one of you might... One of you might be trying to gain your independence from another connection, possibly. And if that is the case, I feel like whoever that is, this person is really trying to put an effort, really trying to focus on that, on how they can actually become independent of another connection or possibly trying to decide between two people. But I don't feel that it is that they don't know who they love or that they don't know who they want to be with. It feels more like having to just become independent of another connection first. That's just how it's coming across to me. Um, and that there's just a lot of illusions that they're trying to come out of. And it's interesting because if it's the other person, well then the other person is actually tries to think very logically and actually it's that logical thinking that can sometimes create, create an illusion, if that makes any sense. Um, because you know, with, when we think with our mind, when we, when we try to um, over-rationalize things or just really think logically, we can come up with a whole bunch of scenarios that are based on society rather than coming from the heart. And those are illusions. So that's how those two concepts connect. Let me clarify that Wheel of Fortune in the recent past. Let's see, what is this shift about? The Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Tower. All right, so when it came to a specific connection, maybe it's the connection between the two of you, maybe it is with somebody in another connection, all right, if that, if that resonates with you. Um, it doesn't have to be that there's another connection. I'm just picking up that for some of you, there definitely is. I feel like there was a lot of waiting and there were certain expectations and there was a lot of effort that was put into trying to meet those expectations or trying to have those expectations met by another person. That didn't happen. And because that didn't happen, it seems like there is this big fallout. Like it's just kind of like this, you know what? There's no more waiting for this. Like these expectations were just thrown out the window. Like, that's it. Like, I'm not, I don't have any expectations anymore for this, whatever that was. Which wasn't easy. It, it Sometimes, you know, when we've built up expectations for a certain connection and then we realize that, you know, they're never going to be met, it can definitely feel like, you know, the world is crashing down on us. And I feel like that's kind of what happened here either between you and them, or maybe you and someone else, or them and someone else. You would know. So let's see the Seven of Cups for your energy. The World, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you don't even know really what's going on here. I feel like you're confused as to what is really going on in this situation. You don't know what is done, what is not done. Um, I even feel like you don't know what is it that is, you're not sure what is best for you or you might feel like it is best for you to try to, to move on from this but but at the same time, you might not be 100% sure. Let me clarify the Six of Swords because I still see you trying to detach though. 
It might even be that you are, you're not sure how you can find yourself. How can you ground yourself through this? Okay, so for the Six of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Hierophant. There's definitely a strong commitment here. I feel like to you it feels like you're, this is why you're confused, because you feel like you're leaving behind something that was just so, so strong of a bond. It was a connection that felt so spiritual, or still feels spiritual. I feel like you you might even feel like you still have more lessons to learn here and so it's hard for you to understand why why you feel like like this is closing out in a way or why you're feeling like you should close it out when at the same time you're feeling like like there's just something here holding you back. And again, I do feel like this is similar to Libra. Or maybe it was Gemini. I actually feel like it's a combination of both. But um yeah, I, I mean I feel like you're 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 a little bit confused here when it comes to this connection and what you should do about it because there's something here that is definitely troubling you. And you don't know how to get yourself also independent from this. So this situation here in the middle, right? The um the very first message that came through this could be you might even be actually for both of you both of you trying to become independent in a way but now I'm seeing this more as being you yet still feeling like you have something to learn hmm. let's see what's going on with that let's clarify the two of cups The Ace of Cups and the Strength card. Yeah, I mean, this person feels a lot of love for you. This is what I'm, I'm trying to understand, what is going on here. Again, you would know better. Please explain to me <laughs> if this makes sense for you. Try to put it into perspective for me if you can in the comments. But definitely there's a lot of love here from this person. And I do see them building up strength. I do see them trying to um, build up some courage. Possibly, this is possibly somebody who needs to fight against others um, for some reason, for this connection. Let me clarify the Five of Wands. And I see them wanting to do that. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so yeah, they're definitely wanting to take some action here. I feel like this person, if you are in um, in some kind of a separation, I feel like this person does want to come back, okay? But they might be doing it a little bit slowly. They might be doing it very, very cautiously because there is some fear here. And because, yeah, this is actually the near future energy. So this is what I see them actually moving towards, all right, in the near future, is taking some action. Taking some action when it comes to fighting for this connection or having to stand up against others for this connection. Maybe they're even feeling a little bit competitive for some of you, but I don't feel like that's going to be for all of you. I mostly see it as just being up against an external force here. It's just happening at a slow pace as they work through this fear, all right? Because they're getting those signs to face their shadows. And it's showing up here as this Eight of Swords. It's that fear within them. Yeah, so I wasn't going to clarify the King of Swords, but now I want to. So that's for their energy. Let's see what that's about. The Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so this person is very clear, as I said, very um, 
decisive when it comes to what it is that gives them fulfillment and what it is that they don't want. So again, it's coming through that for some of you at least, there is another situation here. That's how it's coming through. There's another situation here, um, which one situation, it's like a settling energy and then the other situation, it is a wish fulfillment. It is what they're wishing for, what they would want. And again, they're very clear on this, but like I said, I feel like there's a little bit of overthinking, which also shows up in this Eight of Swords when it comes to, you know, whether they can have this or not. And that overthinking creates illusions. But like I said, I see them putting up some kind of a fight here. So let me clarify the King of Pentacles for the potential outcome. The Knight of Cups, the Empress, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so there it is. I mean, I do see, I do see this person coming in. I do at least see some communication here that is going to be from the heart. Okay, at the very least, but this is more of, more of like an offer. And I do feel like it is going to be genuine, alright, I do see this person, this person sees you as their empress. And I do feel like they want something that is going to be stable, something that is going to be committed, something that is going to be long term. The message for you though here with the two of pentacles is the, I feel like you just have a lot on your plate right now. I feel like you are dealing with a lot and this is just a, really about finding your own balance when it comes to what it is that you're feeling. You know, just kind of take it one step at a time. Don't try to take on too much. Don't try to process everything all at once. Just kind of let things flow. So if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, we actually have two here, but I'm just going to take the top one because I just feel actually, and there's one more. Okay. All right, fine. We'll take two. These are the two that I feel called to take because I did have one more. So we have it's time to release negativ negativity, which is the full moon in Scorpio, and believe in the impossible, which is the blue moon. So yeah, sometimes something that feels impossible can actually happen, whether it is this connection coming together or whether it is overcoming an obstacle, um, whether it is finding your independence, whatever that is. All right, so release negativity and believe in the impossible. Those are the messages for you. So, all right, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching and much love.